Rob Hardy was an ambitious math major, but he also knew how to party. One night he stopped by a frat to share a couple of drinks with friends. As the party intensified, his friends noticed that he was missing. Rob had passed out on the floor upstairs. Worried about leaving him till morning, they decided to bring him to his mother's house. Caroline heard the doorbell ring at 2 a.m. and wrapped herself in a robe. This wasn't the first time his friends had brought him home drunk. Rob's stepfather, Al, suggested taking him to the emergency room, but Caroline assured him that Rob would sleep it off and that she'd give him a lecture once he was back to himself. Rob was still sleeping when Al and Caroline left for work early the next morning. When they returned home at 6 and found him still sleeping, they called 911. Waiting for the ambulance, Al noticed the empty bottle of Tylenol on the bathroom vanity and the fresh foil lining lying in the sink. Fulminant liver failure due to acute hepatocellular necrosis. Rob's liver was failing because of the mixture of high alcohol levels and a Tylenol overdose. A liver transplant was Rob's only hope, and the donation would have to be made within 24 hours. They were both tested for compatibility. Caroline was incompatible. Al was a match. They had been married less than a year, and Al barely knew Rob. Donating a piece of his liver would entail a major surgery. Measures would be taken to guard against infection, pneumonia, and blood clotting. But there are always the risks, 20% chance of minor complications, and 14% chance of major complications. As live donations of organs become more prevalent, new ethical quandaries come into play. Must Al undergo risk to his own life to save the life of his stepson? Or should he have the option of asking the hospital to tell his wife that his liver is unsuitable? We'll look at some of the quandaries that organ donation raises in Lesson 2 of Medicine and Morals.